Hope you're having a great Thursday so far, and thanks for logging on to your Aggieland Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Crystal Plone. Now, we started off this morning on the warm and humid side, and that's where we continue to see things at the moment. Their temperatures are in the low to mid-70s, even some upper 70s out there, especially in our southern counties. And because of that, we're actually dealing with some fog and some mist in some areas. So just make sure you're giving yourself a little bit of extra time if you are headed out later on today. Winds continue out of the south-southeast at around 5 miles per hour, and that's going to help increase the moisture and increase the humidity across the state of Texas. So here's what we're looking at in terms of the state. Up in the panhandle, you're seeing a temperature of 62 degrees because there's been so many clouds and so much rain that's fallen in that area. Temperatures have decreased a bit, but elsewhere we have them in the upper 70s and the low 80s. It's 83 degrees currently in Corpus Christi where things are very humid. Now these are our dew points and we look at this temperature to figure out how much moisture there is in the atmosphere. Anywhere that you see green, our dew point is a little bit on the warm side, which means that it's going to feel extra sticky and extra humid if you were to head outside today. Now in terms of cloud cover and rain, we're seeing most of our clouds in the western portion or the western half of the state, I guess you could say, but we do have some isolated showers in the forecast for later on this afternoon just because we have so much moisture in the atmosphere. So here's what it looks like. Throughout the rest of the afternoon and the evening, we'll keep a 30% chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, especially in our northern counties by the time we get to later on this evening. But then for tomorrow morning, we'll see skies mostly cloudy to cloudy with a small rain chance starting at that point continuing on throughout the rest of your day also but notice Friday at seven o'clock a little bit of a line of showers and thunderstorms that's what we're looking at to see if it will turn severe or not and what we're expecting if this line does turn severe is we could see some small hail winds above 50 miles per hour lots of thunder lots of lightning and heavy rainfall of course there is always that chance for an isolated tornado too so just make sure you're paying attention to the forecast extra carefully for tomorrow today temperatures will get warm into the mid 80s are mostly cloudy skies. A 30% chance of an isolated afternoon shower or thunderstorm also remains in the forecast today. Looking forward to this weekend though, temperatures will get pretty close to 90 degrees. There is a small chance of an isolated shower both Saturday and Sunday, but after Monday we have a cold front come through and that's going to knock temperatures into the mid 70s and potentially the upper 60s. So we just have a few days to get through before we can see the nice weather for next week. So hopefully you just keep your umbrella handy and have a good rest of your day.